Back we are on Maruti Suzuki presents Ask Crick Info Top 5 to see what sort of uh, search queries have been entered for Ask Crick Info to answer. Dan Vittori loves this segment. He learns a lot more about the IPL and about 2020 cricket as a result of it. Shall we? Shall we. All right. Uh, highest partnership in the IPL. I guess this would be something people would have been curious about after the KL Rahul, Quinton de Kock opening stand. They got 210. Where do you think that is? Right up there? I think, I think, there's I think, I think it's second. I think I did read this. I'm going second or third. Second. I think you remember some of these games. Yeah. Uh, 229, De Villiers and Kohli. Right at ah, the top. Yes. Yeah, yeah, against Gujarat. 215, the old, the old De Villiers Gujarat. and Kohli. <laughs> yeah. The lots, of, lots of these. Uh, and De Kock and Rahul, 210. So that's number three. So we got De Villiers and Kohli featuring in the top two and De Kock and Rahul after that. Fun game, that? The 229, the 215. Were they both against Gujarat? Yeah, first one certainly was Gujarat. Second one was Mumbai Indians back in 2015. So that's, that's where it was. No divisions <laughs> anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the top run scorer in this year's IPL. We're keeping track of it. Uh, Josh Butler still leads. KL Rahul's less than 100 behind now. We thought there's no way anyone's catching up with Butler. Now someone can? No, I think Butler still, still, will still get it done. 100 runs is a lot to catch up and potentially at the most three games. Mm. We thought, though, that Butler could very well challenge for Kohli's incredible season in 2016. Perhaps just tells us something of how freaky that achievement was, 900 plus runs. Absolutely, and it was the consistency. We saw Butler at the start be consistent for the first six or seven games, but to maintain that against the quality of bowling is so difficult. So it puts Coley's season in context about how brilliant it was. Mm. Let's look at the most power play wickets. Again, something which uh, seems to have been of interest to our viewers. Uh, we've known that you know, Mohamed Shami seems to have struck a lot in the power play this year. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar has done well. Mukesh Chaudhary has been good. Trent Bolt is so always up there. Uh, who do you think is right up there this season? Any this season? Teams? I would say other seasons have been Deepak Chaha, but this season, um, Mohsen Khan? He hasn't mm. played enough games probably. No, but yeah. Shami is right up there. Okay. Yeah, so Shami and Mukesh Chaudhary both locked at 11 this season. Rabada, curiously, is there. And I say curiously because Delhi is in a very different mm. role. This, this could be the Rabada we see more of now? Well, it's sort of two in the power play, two at the death. So you're, you're really in line for, for taking wickets. I think, I think he's a, a product of what Kings needed him from the season. Mm. So if they, they potentially had another fast bowler to the mix, then maybe they, he could be used in more of the Delhi, Delhi role, albeit that he's bowled very well this season. Shami, of course, has the opportunity to add to that tally as Gujarat, the only team that has made the playoffs from those three players that I just mentioned, Chaudhary and Rabada. Let's go to our next query. We're looking at the highest opening partnership in the IPL now. So that was the all-time highest partnerships. Now we're looking at opening partnerships. So I think I've given away the answer. De Kock and Rahul are right <laughs> up there. Do you remember who's second? Uh, is it over 200? Or is it it's 185. Conway, I think Conway I remember this Goodcrow. game. Now I remember, the, the, I remember this one. It's Besto and David Warner. Yeah, Besto and Warner in a game where they took down RCB. Remember that one? That, that no, was Besto and Warner at their best. I think it was after I finished, so I stopped watching. Yeah. <laughs> and you weren't working with us. <laughs> Although sometimes you work with us and still. Uh, <laughs> uh, Don't reveal my secrets. Yeah, Gotham Gambir and Chris Lin at number three. Linny he features definitely here. doesn't watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's nice. It's nice to see some of our 2022 pundits feature uh, in the answers to your queries. Gambir is one of them as well, who's featured before on our show. So there you have it. Dick and Rahul now have a record to them in the IPL. And uh, finally... Virat Kohli versus Rashid Khan, a matchup in all T20s. Who do you think has the edge in this one from just, say, memory? Is this internationals as well? All T20, yeah. Uh, there wouldn't be a lot of India-Afghanistan internationals. I'd say Rashid Khan would. All right, let's look at the numbers. And uh, Rashid Khan's got him twice. We saw the second one most recently in the last league game for both those two teams. Uh, and uh, as far as the other numbers, relevant numbers go, strike rate's 118. It's not so bad for Rashid Khan. For a lot of guys that tend to just play him out. Uh, otherwise, it looks like uh, even Stevens, you'd say, 54 runs in 46 balls, small sample size. Wouldn't call so that I, a takedown. I, I would have thought it would have been bigger, actually. I thought they would have bowled, he would have bowled to him a lot. So, I think you're right in the context of Rashid mm. Khan. It's pretty good. All right. Dan, thank you very much. Uh, enjoy that, as always, as we look through the queries that are being entered in the final week of the league stage of the IPL. This was Maruti Suzuki Presents. Ask Cricket for Top 5.